Hi there, it's Jeff here. Let's spend a few minutes thinking about heuristics and decision making. Now, heuristic is an important idea in behavioural economics. And a heuristic is a mental shortcut that people often use to make a decision quickly and efficiently without expending too much mental energy. So they, allow, they help us to make decisions without necessarily having to consider all of the information that might be available. It might be available, but it could be timely and costly to acquire. So, for example, if I type into Google search, what are heuristics? Uh, the, uh, the search engine produces results. Fortunately, Tutor Due appears on the first screen. Uh, so does Investopedia. So obviously definitions there. Some people follow a heuristic that uh, if they can't find what they want on the first page of a Google search, they'll refine or redefine the search. And that's part of the reason why search engine optimization or SEO, is such a powerful and uh, commercially significant business because people want to appear on the first page of Google searches. So lots of heuristics used in decision making. Uh, here are three. One is the price quality heuristic. So a lot of people assume or take as their default that higher priced products are of better quality and therefore they're more likely to choose an expensive brand, for example Heinz baked beans compared to private label, because they might they think it's a better product offering superior performance or durability. Simple price, quality, heuristic. The quality is built into the price. It's the rule of thumb. Brand loyalty heuristic. Many consumers will stick with a brand for many, many years if it consistently delivers quality and satisfaction. I'll give you a couple of examples of that in a few seconds. Availability heuristic. Uh, when people can recall instances of a product or brand readily, they're more likely to choose it. And that's one reason why firms, particularly in oligopolistic markets, spend millions of dollars on marketing and advertising and promotion. Because a lot of marketing is just about keeping the brand, keeping the product in our mind's eye. Because if it is, we're more likely to choose it, particularly important in retailing. So here's a couple of examples. Mac it is. Does McDonald's have a claim to be the best restaurant in the world? Charlie Munger uh, died recently. Warren Buffett's former bridge partner famously said, most people don't want the best burger in the world, but they want a burger that's like the one they had last time. So people want a product which is reliable as well as affordable, uh, where the variance, the, the, if you like, the standard deviation of quality is low from, from acquisition, transaction to transaction. And a business such as Premier Inn, of course, they offer this sleep guarantee, but uh, Premier Inn, one of Britain's biggest hotel chains, over 800 hotels, 80,000 rooms, a very, very successful service business providing medium-priced hotel accommodation. You pretty much know what you're going to get when you book a Premier Inn. The difference between the rooms is minimal. Heuristics are a powerful force. I don't want the best hotel room in the world. I just want a room that is quiet, and gives me a good night's sleep. That is a powerful heuristic when people are making decisions. There's thousands of hotels you can choose from. People often just follow simple heuristic thinking. Now, finally, heuristics are linked to a very important concept in economics, which is bounded rationality. So this is associated with the famous economist Herbert Seymour. He got a Nobel Prize for his work on this. And with bounded rationality, people have scarce brain power, scarce cognitive resources, and therefore they're unable to make completely rational decisions. They must make decisions based on limited information. And bounded rationality takes into account not just the cost of acquiring and processing information, but the, the information gaps. And in many cases, people often fall back on heuristics or rules of thumb to simplify a complex decision-making process. So heuristics are very important if you want to truly understand behavioural economics. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please press like. Uh, stay curious, stay happy, stay positive. See you sometime soon.